Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this sweet romantic valentine song display. What I love about this is that it's a little bit old fashioned, but it's also a way that you can celebrate your favorite love song, something that might be very romantic for just the two of you, and you can put this sign out for every Valentine's Day. So let's get to it. So these are the supplies that I used. You might notice that there is a Christmas sign in there. Um, so you can reuse some items. Most of the stuff that I used is gonna be from the Dollar Tree or from thrift stores. Now, obviously one of the biggest materials that you need for this DIY project is gonna be sheet music. I found really great old fashioned hymn books at the thrift store. Uh, you could also find them at an antique store. But if you don't have either of those, you can download sheet music online for free. And I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below. Now, once you decide which song you want, go ahead and remove it out of the book or print it off. Next is to paint your wooden block or your sign white. Now, as you saw, I am reusing a Merry Christmas sign. So I sanded off all of that glittery wording so that I would have a flat surface. So you can do the same thing. You could use a piece of um, wooden block that you have, go to the Dollar Tree and find something, whatever works for you. Just be sure to coat it with white paint so that you have a flat surface in the back. Next, we're gonna start painting the candlestick. Paint the candlestick red, and if you would like, add an antiquing wax to give it that aged effect. It's definitely not necessary, and that is optional. You are also going to want to paint the edges of the sign red as well. Once that is dry, glue the candlestick to the bottom of the sign in the middle. You can do this with a hot glue gun, and just be sure that your signboard that you're going to be using is thick enough to be over that candlestick. Now we're gonna be adding a thin layer of Mod Podge on top of that wooden sign. And then on top of the Mod Podge, put your sheet music over there and smooth it out so that there is no bubbles. At this point, if you find that the sheet music is a little bit too large, you can cut around the edges. I also used a sandpaper uh, block to kind of rub away those edges on the side and it worked really good. The edges came right off, so you could do either one. Then once you have the sheet music fit to the sign, add a layer of Mod Podge on top of that. While that is drying, you can now paint your wooden heart. I got this heart as one of the packs at the Dollar Tree. You can use whatever you would like. You can also add an antiquing finish to the heart as well if you're giving your entire project an aged and antiqued look. To finish off that heart, tie a sweet little bow with twine and glue that in the middle. And that is it. Now for a complete list of materials and a step-by-step -step photo tutorial, I will put that link in the description below. Happy crafting, y'all.